<sighs> so, hello everybody, what is going on dudes, it is Kibishimaki here, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 2, Dawn of Souls. Last time, we unfortunately failed to stop the Dreadnought and saw the results of our efforts. Haloom, Hoth, Gatria, and even Altair was assaulted. This time, well, we travel back to Paloom after dropping off our good buddy, um, Minwoo. I went ahead and took the opportunity of redoing that whole section and I actually de-equipped him. During that time, I took off his armor. And it's the weapon, don't matter. Don't worry about picking up weapons either. Just stick with what you got and make sure you have mithril armor at the very least. All the whole mithril set. Aside from that, no real differences in terms of stats or levels. I went ahead and just did all that, and now we must make way back to Salamand, where we uh, recruit Joseph um, in our efforts to, well, find Keshwan Keep and the castle of Keshwan. Let's hop on. Still, still hopping, skipping a jump, not too far, but hey, it beats uh, having a bunch of encounters, if, uh, if I'm being honest. With all of that, nothing more to say or note. Let's go talk with Joseph. My good sir. Looks like you managed to save my daughter. Thank you. The cowardly Borg had been threatening Nelly to get to me. Forgive me if there's anything I can do to help. All you gotta do is ask. So that's about the Sunfire. Nothing. Airship. One of my airships. Ask the guy Sid. Anything about the Dreadnought. Took over the construction. Mithril. Yep, I remember that much. Wild Rose. Nothing. Alright. To mention the goddess's bell. The only way to reach the snow cavern is on my snow craft. Oh boy. I keep the snow craft hidden in the mine. There's a blue stone on the first floor that marks the spot. Hey, hey, we know exactly where that is. Look behind the stone to the right. The secret room's there, and the snow craft is inside. I'm sorry I can help you find Mithril, so I want to make up for that by pitching it now. What are we waiting for? Let's go! With that, Joseph joins our party. Joseph, to go over him briefly, is a monk. He is meant to use his hands and hands alone, meaning that he has no mana, he has no weapons, he has very limited armor. But he strikes pretty good with his hands. Now, no mana, of course, he's got 5 MP, he's got a little bit of HP, so not a lot. He's not going to hold out very well in some cases. And he's got pretty okay stats overall. Pretty good strength and stamina and agility, so he's definitely going to be striking first in a lot of cases. With our weapons, of course, let's give him the mithril armor, helm, and gloves. And of course, you can give him weapons, but they only make his attacks that worse. Meaning, you should stick to keeping him, you know, handless or weaponless. Come back soon, Daddy. You gotta say farewell to Nelly and say farewell to whoever else he knows here within Salamand, of course. Just get in his way. Nothing more. Anything else from the villagers? Take me with Altair. Cousins are back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Back. Thank you. Da, da, da. Yeah, nothing nothing else. No new worthwhile text. The only thing left to do is to start making our way back to Semit Falls. And uh, quickly move our way over. So we can actually uh, uh, continue on and hopefully find Kashwan Keep and the Goddess Spell. So we need to need the Goddess Spell in order to access Kashwan Keep to to gain the Sunfire. We know we need an Eagle's Torch as well, or Eagle's Torch? I think it's Eagle's Torch, or Egil. One of the two. Either way, we know exactly what we must do, we know exactly where we gotta go, and uh, there's really not much more to note about it. I guess, actually, the other thing that is worth noting, or something that I, I must absolutely bring up, is that there was a couple enemies that I had noted that you can run into, things like that. Passing this river, down to the grass, the bushel down here. Pretty tough enemies. They give you a good kill, you raise your stats pretty well. Um, and there's definitely a lot there for the bestiary to be completed. So keep that in mind. If you're going for 100% like I am, you want to try and encounter anything and everything. 
after that, we're back at Cemetery Falls. Let's go approach that stone that he had mentioned. Sasquatch. Will, jo will Joseph ever be able to go first? Who knows? Because everyone pretty much outspeeds him. With my stats and the way that they are, yeah. It's going to be kind of hard for Joseph to keep up. Right here by the rock. He said just behind it and to the right. I think he said. Huh? Anything? No kind of reaction. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Move out of his way. Joseph turns a small rock jutting out of the wall and the passage appears. The snow crab is in here. Nice. Let's join him. Let's head on in. And here within this area. Pop it open to obtain the Snowcraft, just as we had hoped. Hell yeah. Alright, nice. Now with that in tow, I guess there's nothing more to do, but uh... Yeah, make our way back over towards... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so we travel back towards Salaman, sorry. I blanked some, I was like, what am I doing again? <laughs> Boom, bam. And we move. But hopefully not get too many encounters. Ooh, bam, bam, bop. So, so let's see. There we go. <sighs> Just as before, we gotta make way back around towards the snow now, so that we can actually traverse the uh, the icy caps and uh, hopefully find the goddess as well. Ramster Strike, it's all good. We could probably raise Joseph's stats if I have someone attack him, but I don't want to risk that. Go. There it is. If we attempted to approach here before, I believe it would not work out. We would be stuck, it'd be a wall, it'd be an impasse. But now with the Snowcraft, we actually make our way through. And of course we have some enemies to encounter in this place. Snowmen, along with some icicles. They are decently strong, they hit decently hard, but they shouldn't be too difficult or too rough for you. Of course though, there is a little mini game to play along with it if you uh, desire or want to. Or not in the battle, but at least um, in the old world. We'll try right now. Boom, thank you. 148 guilt, not too bad. If we hold, I believe, the B button, and oh, hold the A button and mash B a good bit of times. We pull up a memory game. Okay. Again, clues to characters that haven't even been revealed yet. Guy was over here. No, that's here on. Nope. Oh my god, I'm clicking like the wrong like three areas. Now you're right there. Guys at the top right corner. Joseph's next to Joseph. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Total misses. Good bit. Yeah. Depending on how quickly you can do and how fast you are, if you can do it without missing a single one somehow, you can gain a really high reward. Best times to Try one more time. We're bound to get one wrong at least. You're up to the top right. Nope. You're in the top right. Aha! Slightly faster. Thousand gill and gold needle. Yeah, no, it is. A definite rough challenge, and it is an interesting one at the very least. But I mean, hey, it's a little another side mini game you could do along with the number one up on the boat. Actually, no, we don't have the boat accessible in this one. I forget. I'm thinking of Final Fantasy One, where you could actually do a little mini game if you hold uh, B and mash A like 23 or 22 times. Nope, just a snowman. It's fine, not too rough, not too bad. Boom, 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 boom. Bam! They're just wailing and a knock on me. 
Joseph hit decently hard, but he definitely does need some work. You can definitely tell we're just going to be wailing on everything that we encounter. HP increase for nearly everybody, which is nice. There's supposed to be a cave opening somewhere along this path. Don't think of pass it yet. We should have to keep going east until we find it. There it is. We enter. We are within the snow cavern. We haven't even found the icicles yet, but that's fine. Enemies you can find within here, of course. You can find some icicles, but mainly goblins, goblin guards, zombies, balloons, snowmen, icicles, dual heads, which I've ran into before, death hands, which don't sound fun, shadows, ghouls, and grenades, the stronger forms of balloons. We're in for a good treat. We have a lot of enemies to encounter and a lot to uh, prepare for. Things are definitely getting tougher and things are progressing more and more. There's also a lot of treasure strung about, so keep that in mind, of course. Check various aspects. Whoa, that's a giant break. That's interesting. Of course, there are also a bunch of different diverging paths, so honestly, the options are limitless. You can really go just about anywhere and really find something. His unarmed level increase. Yep. Check this chest. 300 kill right off the bat. There's definitely going to be a lot to it. There's going to be a lot to see. Yeah, these are somehow snowmen. Don't know how. I would have thought they would, they would have been... Oh, the abominable snowman, I guess. A yeti would have made sense. I don't know. 72, though. <laughs> Not too bad. Joseph hits decently hard. HP increase, which is very much needed. Get our HP. Or get our treasure. 350 kill. Nice. So that's 650 total. Deadhead. Deadhead? Did I misread Dead Hands by accident? I misread Dead. I read it as Dead Hands for some reason. It's supposed to be Dead Head. Well, they're not hitting us for much, but the question is can we hit them? They are extremely fast, which is really weird. I would not have expected them to be that fast. Okay, we can hit them. And we can KO them at least in one hand before anything crazy happens. Which is a really big relief. I was worried that we weren't going to be able to KO these things. Nice. Clear it out of the way. There's a door? That looks like a doorway. Maybe I have to remember that for later. But there we go. We are here within the uh, snow cavern, snow cave, whatever you want to call it. And oh boy, do we have ourselves. We have a work cut out for us. I'm going to leave this part here. I don't want to explore too much get too into it. I do want to leave this a lot for the next episode to explore overall. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you all continue to enjoy, and I will be seeing all of you dudes later. Peace out, everybody.